practicing a new tune I wrote a while ago and I just wanted to share that little bit of that with you. That'll be on uh, some future releases I'm going to be putting out. But uh, welcome to the lesson. Thank you for tuning in. And we're going to get down and work on some uh, new stuff today. We're going to talk a lot about natural minors today. We've been, uh, we've talked about that in earlier lessons, but I really want to cover that today in the next lesson. All right. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you in a second. Hello, Dave Hill here. Good to see you today. I hope you've been practicing hard. I've been having a great time doing these lessons. I know you guys are getting better and better every day. So let's talk about what we're going to do today. Um, we've been discussing a lot of scales over the last 28 lessons or so, right? We've talked about major scales. We've talked about pentatonic scales. We've talked about, well, major and minor pentatonic scales. And we talked also about major and minor scales. So let's get back to minor today and discuss that because minor scales are as we know, part of major scales, when we talk about minor scales, we're talking about the sixth mode of a major scale. So it's th that minor scale is diatonic or within a major scale, but it does have its own unique sound and its own unique melodies and harmonies that, that uh, exist that we want to talk about and, and focus on. So that's what we'll do today. So we're going to talk about natural minor or the Aeolian mode, and we're just going to discuss the scale in a couple of patterns in our neck, and we're, in this case, we're going to be in the key of D. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I know you have things that you can you can look at it with the lessons, but I've written it on the board, so it's convenient and it's right here. But you can also download some information. But let's take a look at the two patterns we're discussing. Okay, so we've got D natural minor, right, from this position of the roots, which has everything to do with the same chords that we've talked about for many lessons. This would be the chord form that would be built off the A form, but now up here, and of course if it's a minor chord, it's like that, okay? So that's what you want to visualize when you first start to look at the scale on that upper form there, okay? So it's going to be like this. So that would be a pattern two scale, a minor scale, a pattern two minor scale. But we also know from our previous lessons that, an, as I said just a minute ago, our natural minor scales, or the Aeolian mode, is diatonic within a major scale. So if you looked at the beginning of the scale from this note, you'd see that this is exactly the same as an F major scale. So the scale we're playing today is diatonic or within the key of F, but they are one in the same key. But as we know, certain progressions sound more minor because of the emphasis of certain chords. So our progression we're going to have today is going to definitely have a minor feel to it. So we're going to be thinking of this as the root. Okay, so once again, let's do it now with our metronome. And let's just go up in eighth notes. Here we go. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's just leave that there. You know, I bet you guys have pra been practicing your, your thirds as well. And remember, thirds are simply every leapfrogging over every note. So you'd have a third sequence would maybe be like this. If you've been practicing your major scales, you'll, you'll feel comfortable doing that one. So here it is. I'm going to show it real slow so you can see what the minor scale and diatonic thirds would sound like. Two, three, four.
back down. Okay, so I want you to work on that one just as, a, uh, as another uh, sequence. Even though we know we've played sequences exactly like that and called them major, you know, when we've done things like... Right? But the root in that case was, was the starting point. The root in this case today is right here, so that's important uh, difference to make. Make sure that you think of this as the root now. Okay? So we've got that pattern we're going to be working with today. And you can see from the forms behind me that we've got the pattern just one position above it. And the roots would be right here. Okay? And that would mean that we would have a scale pattern with three roots starting with our fourth finger on the low root. Here we go, up and down again. Two, three, four. Back down. If you were going to visualize a chord form right here, uh, the root position indicates the G form in our original forms, but we don't quite have a great minor chord fingered like this. So generally what people do in this position to finger a minor chord is to finger that, or even maybe to put the minor through in the bottom. But probably this. Okay? So that's how you might visualize the scale pattern around that chord right there. Okay? One more time. Two, three, four. Okay, so those are the two forms right there. That's basically pattern two and pattern three in minor, in natural minor. And we also know that intuitively that we can see that this is also the same thing as playing pattern one F major and pattern two F major right here it's the same key but we're calling it minor because our progression has everything to do with the minor key today okay so let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at my progression in fact I keep talking about it and I want to give us something to practice over today so you can see that we've got our progression nicely written here um, and you'll hear that I'm emphasizing the one chord right away at the beginning of the progression to give it the, the sound of the minor key, okay? And at this point, I just basically walk down, down the key from the one chord. That's basically the one chord going down to the seven chord, to the six chord, to the five chord. And that definitely establishes the sound of the minor key, so. Remember, these are eighth note marks. That's an eighth note rest, and that's an upbeat eighth note. So the rhythm would be like this. Two, three, four. Right? Okay? So I just walk right down the roots there. Okay? And I'm going to do this four times. Uh, is that right? No, I think I do it. Well, we'll see how long. We'll see what the loop station says. We definitely do this next section here three times, though. And I change the rhythm a little bit just to make it interesting. So now I go to the four chord of the key, and then I go back to the five chord, but I use that to sort of create a different feel there. So we go like this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Do it again. Last time we go here, back to the top, okay? 